four things narcissists do when you discard them. When a person decides to discard the narcissist, it's because they've had enough. They've had enough of the constant insults and put downs. They've had enough of the narcissist using them for money or sex. The narcissist ran amok on you. They behaved in an uncontrollable way. They were very disruptive. They were very inconsiderate. And they had no intentions of changing their behavior because they held you responsible for everything they did. They made you believe that you were the one who was supposed to change or do better. When you finally decide to discard the narcissist, it's because you've woken up. You've realized the truth of what you're dealing with. You understand that if there's anything you need to change, you need to stop giving so much of yourself to someone who doesn't appreciate it. If there's anything you need to do better, it's enforcing your boundaries. And the more you try to do this, the more it should confirm to you that you need to get rid of them because they're never going to change. They're never going to respect you. A major part of their disorder is that they think they don't need to change. They think everything is your fault. And when you realize this, you accept that your only option is to discard them. That's the only way that you can deal with these types of people because they're never going to hear anything you say. They're never going to try to understand where you're coming from. They're just going to see it as though you're trying to manipulate them because that's what they did to you. And they assume that everyone is just as fake as they are. But they already know that the situation is not good for you. Which is why they have to target your self-esteem to keep you down. To make you lose confidence. To keep you thinking you're not good enough for anything else. So that you don't have the strength to leave them. When you finally decide to discard the narcissist, it's because you realize that it's not your fault. You're not responsible for the way that they're behaving. You're not responsible to fix anything. Because you realize that you're dealing with someone who has a mental illness. The reason why it was so difficult for you to leave is because you had hope that they could change and you held yourself responsible for making them change as though you just had to do better or do more and then finally they would be okay. But nothing you did was ever good enough for them. Because they have these insatiable desires that can never be fulfilled. They couldn't even make themselves happy. Yet they held you to that expectation. Of something that they couldn't even fulfill for themselves. They are very delusional, entitled people. And when you fail to fulfill their impossible expectations, 
they will become very resentful towards you. They will want revenge, which is why I decided to create this video. So that you can prepare yourself for what the narcissist might do when you discard them. One, they will stalk and harass you. When the narcissist does this, it's because they're refusing to accept that you want nothing to do with them. Or they just don't care about what you want. Because they're only concerned with their own feelings and needs. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. So it's not like a normal relationship where the other person understands that you're not happy. The narcissist is only concerned with what they want and they expect you to remain around them regardless of how you feel. Your feelings and needs are not important to the narcissist. They always have to be the priority because they believe that they're special. They believe they're superior to you. So you're just supposed to submit to them and meet their demands, regardless of what you want. The narcissist sees everything in black and white. You're either a winner or a loser. And if you discard them, they see it as though you have won. And they see it as though they have lost. And they are very sore losers. They cannot deal with losing. They set everything up in an attempt to avoid ever having to deal with losing. When you discard them, they see it as though you have got one over on them. As though you have abandoned them without help or support. It causes a narcissistic injury. It bruises their fragile egos. And in their minds, you have no right to do that. Because there's nothing wrong with them. They haven't done anything wrong. In their minds, they're perfect. Which is why they cannot accept it when you try to move on. This is why they stalk and harass you. This is why they cannot leave you alone. Because in their minds you're at fault. You're to blame for everything. Two. Triangulation. When you discard the narcissist, they will bring a third person into the relationship so that they can remain in control. The communication between you and the third person will be through the narcissist. Or if you refuse to talk to the narcissist, the third person will communicate with you directly. They will use this third person to bring you under their control again. The third person may also be the narcissist's new relationship partner. The narcissist may act like they are happy with this new person. It's designed to make you question yourself, to make you wonder if you made the wrong decision. They will try to make you jealous. They will try to make you want to return to them when there's really nothing to return to. It's just another part of the, the manipulation. They're deceiving you. But if they know that you're no longer susceptible to their manipulation, 
they will only triangulate you with one of their flying monkeys. With someone who they have manipulated into thinking that something is wrong with you. This person will be used to manipulate you into returning back to the narcissist, whether they are aware of it or not. Three, they will play the victim. They will act like you did them wrong. So now you have to make things right. They will act like you abandoned your duty or responsibility for them. And now you have to return to what they have assigned you to do. Because they know that you don't want to be seen as a bad person. They know that you just want to do what's right. And they take advantage of your desire to be a good person. They take advantage of your desire to do what's right. They guilt trip you. They try to make you feel bad. Because they want you to give them another chance. But if you do give them another chance, nothing is going to change. They're just going to go back to what they were doing before. And it's just going to make it easier for them to blame you the next time they push you over the edge. Four, smear campaign. If you don't fall for their attempts to get you back, they will talk to people about you and portray it as though you are the narcissist, as though you did all of these horrible things to them and then you just left them without any help or support. Because they want to get people on their side and they want to destroy your reputation so that you're left without any support because they don't want to see you moving on with anything. If you leave them, they want to see you in a worse situation. They don't want you to feel like you're better off without them because then that makes them feel small. It makes them feel like they're not good for anything. So they have to make it seem like you've made a poor decision and now you're paying for the consequences of that decision. They can't let you think that you did the right thing because of how that would reflect on them. So they play the victim and they try to make people think you've done something wrong so that they can gain people's sympathy and ruin your reputation. It gives them supply, it supports the illusion. This is what happens when you discard the narcissist. They will stalk and harass you. They will triangulate you with a third person. They will play the victim and they will start a smear campaign against you. I hope that this video can help you to protect yourself if you do decide to discard the narcissist. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.